If you're like a lot of women who are considering hormone therapy, you've probably heard of something called the window of opportunity to take hormone therapy. But I get a lot of questions about how do I know when my last period was? Can I still take hormone therapy? What if it's been 12 years since my last period? And so in this video, I wanna answer some other questions about when it's safe or not safe to take hormone therapy. Hi everyone, if you don't know me, I'm Dr. Heather Hirsch. I'm the lead physician of the Menopause and Midlife Clinic and I see patients at the Brigham and Women's Hospital for menopause consults all the time. And one reason that a lot of women will come to see me is they'll say, hey doc, I've been having symptoms for years and no one ever treated me. What can I do? There's a couple things that we need to talk about when thinking about the timing hypothesis. And the timing hypothesis is something that menopause experts use to denote that there are particularly benefits that outweigh risks of using hormone therapy when you start within 10 years of menopause and you have no known contraindications to the use of hormone therapy. But what happens if it's been 10 years or 11 years or 12 years since your last period? Or what happens if you're now 62 or 63? Does that mean that it is unsafe to start on hormone therapy? First and foremost, the Women's Health Study, after lots of post hoc analysis, showed that there are benefits for women either within the ages of 50 to 59, sort of a null effect on the benefits for cardiovascular risk between the ages of 60 and 70, and a slight increased risk in cardiovascular events for women who started hormone therapy the ages 70 to 80. And so one thing that I really wanna point out is that we use those ages a lot, but I really prefer years since menopause because you could have been 54 at the time of menopause and now actually age 62 isn't outside of the window. So I really prefer not just your stated age, but actually how many years it's been since your last period. The second thing that we wanna think about is that not only is it years since your last period, but did you take any hormone therapy at all within that time? Maybe it is even six months or one or two years and then you stop for a while and those years of that estrogen exposure actually counts towards your timing that you've been away from hormone therapy. So if you've also been on hormone therapy at all, even for a little bit, consider adding that time to, you know, then actually look to see how long has it been since you last took hormone therapy. Now, the next thing to consider is that it doesn't mean that you can't take hormone therapy if it's been 10 years since menopause. Now, certainly the benefits outweigh the risks if you start earlier. And so one of the reasons I became a menopause clinician is I really wanted to get this message out so that you had the time to decide if you wanted to take hormone therapy in that window. But for many of you, maybe you did, but your physician wouldn't prescribe it or you always thought it was unsafe and now you've changed your mind. Or for a small percent of women, you will have symptoms that last an incredibly long time. And you are at the point where you are ready to do something about it. Now, I know that there were benefits for women who were within 10 years of menopause, but for women who are within you know, 10 to 20 years, there was really actually like a null effect on cardiovascular disease, meaning it actually didn't really increase your risk for cardiovascular disease all that statistically significantly, but it didn't seem to have the benefits that it did for younger women. And I did a great video here on the heart benefits of estrogen therapy. And again, that's for women who start within 10 years of menopause. But you know, this is an individual discussion. If you're saying I'm having 10 hot flashes a day, I'm not sleeping at night still because of the night sweats, you know, you might have osteopenia or brain fog or persistent vaginal dryness that you can't treat with local vaginal estrogen and therefore your quality of life is really suffering. And it's probably time to consider hormone therapy even though you are outside of the window, which is why I kind of don't love the whole window idea, but I do like it for what it's helpful for, which is demonstrating benefits of starting hormone therapy early. Now this data comes from the Women's Health Study when they used oral hormone therapy. So I would consider using a transdermal low dose patch for women who are starting hormone therapy within 10 to 20 years. Now what if you're over 20 years? You know, probably the same thing. While the risk is slightly higher, it really comes down to how is your individual health profile? Are you overall really healthy? Do you have any cardiovascular disease? How bad are the symptoms affecting your quality of life? Have you tried non-hormonal and over-the-counter options? And if you really do need something, I'm gonna start at the ultimate lowest dose of a transdermal estrogen patch. And if you have a uterus, prescribe 
um, my favorite type of progesterone, which is micronized natural progesterone, also known as Prometrium. Then I follow you really closely. I like to follow you in three months, in six months. I wanna make sure that your cholesterol is really well controlled. I wanna make sure that your blood pressure is really well controlled. I wanna make sure you're not smoking and that you're exercising and doing good supplements like vitamin D, fish oil, and omega-3s. I wrote a really beautiful paper here. It's brand new on how to prescribe hormone therapy for women who have cardiovascular risk factors. But if you are over 60 or you're out of the timing window, it's been 10 years since your period, which I prefer, I wanna make sure that you are really healthy so that we can safely consider adding a very low dose estrogen patch and a low dose of Prometrium if you have your uterus. So all is not lost. It's definitely still an option, but we just wanna get the message out that if you wanna take hormone therapy, definitely probably closer to your period is best. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please share it, like it, and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already done so. It's free to do so, and I love having you here and growing this community. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video, and I'll see you next week for a brand new one.